Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. And I have Paul here again on our, uh, our I guess, series of Pittsburgh beer, Pilsners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they all Pilsner, or beers. Yeah, Pittsburgh but, beers, beers is a better way to say it. But, uh, <laughs> they all seem to be Pilsners. I, I oh, think, it's a log or two. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that's right. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, before we start, actually, I... I don't know if you remember our first beer that we uh, talked about in this series. Uh, it was kind of broken up because it was uh, during the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't even remember what beer that was. <laughs> Something uh, that was, it was a, the Boston's. Uh, no, wasn't it? it was the. Uh, oh, you mean the Pittsburgh beer we tried? Yeah, that was the Duquesne beer. I think. Oh, the Duquesne. Yeah, uh, the Duke beer. Duquesne. Yeah, the the and I, I I don't know if you remember I mentioned uh, the uh, Sam Adams Noble Pills in there. That's right. Uh, in that uh, video, it's just ironic that um, the other night, uh, well, not too long ago, we were uh, at a little bar down the street here called The Snug, and uh, they had a special going for that uh, that beer, and um, I got there early enough to get a glass, and uh, very nice glass. Paul got there a little later, and yeah. the, the person... <laughs> That was giving out the glasses and left, but the uh, bartender, she was nice enough. Yeah, she was very nice uh, to give uh, very nice. the glass. So we'd like to thank her. Absolutely. So if you're ever in the snug, uh, absolutely. Uh, a blonde, one. I, I don't even know her name. Actually. I I don't remember that either. Usually, but... uh, Nikki is the one that is working there when I'm there. So, I, uh, but thank you very much for the uh, giving the Paul oh, that yeah. glass. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, on on to the next beer, and actually, the uh, we'll talk about the the Sam Adams Noble Pills sometime later. Um, we'll do a whole thing after the Pittsburgh beers, I think. Uh, we got <laughs> <laughs> move on to Boston, I guess. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's something. fine. Uh, this next one is a uh, uh, it's by the Pennsylvania Brewing Company. Well. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh. And uh, let's wait for this plane to fly by. We'll see it any minute now. Just... Or maybe it's already... Okay, uh, so this is the, the Penn Pilsner. And, Paul, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this? Well, it was... Uh, it's, uh, of all the beers we talked about, I think this one uh, a little older. And it's actually a Pittsburgh beer. Uh, started in 1986. It's uh, on uh, the Pittsburgh's north side. And uh, it's a brew pub, so they serve a lot of German, authentic German food there, as well as the uh, the Penn Pilsner. And uh, that's basically it. It's a uh, it's another real popular beer of, of late. And like I said, this was started in '86. Uh, so that's about really what I know about it uh, in in a short sentence or two. And uh, I, I enjoy it. So it says here that they. Uh, I thought I was reading somewhere that. Uh, maybe you told me that they use the um, German purity. Uh, yeah, he, he, he stuck to the strict German purity laws, yeah. and you were explaining a little to me about you know what that entailed because well, I didn't know the whole history like you did. As far as I understand, I, and I could be wrong here, but as far as I understand, uh, the purity law has, has to do with uh, only using malt, and you know there's some uh, some beers that use other things like rice and corn even. Uh, so I. I believe it that has to do with it i'm not sure if the hops have to do with it i think you can only use like the pure hops you know out here uh, especially in, in california and the uh, the west coast we uh, kind of crossbreed our hops which i guess is a big no-no over in, uh, <laughs> in europe but i'm not sure if that has to do with the german purity law the thing to add too is that you can see here on the label that it says celebrating 25 years so that sort of tells you you know yeah well Little note there, but uh, it's uh, it is a local beer, which is great, and uh, always want to do promote the local beers too. Yeah, uh, and also you know, uh, it seems to me like the regional beers like that seem to put a, a lot more love and care than something mass produced. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of like if you get a burger from McDonald's or a burger from a, a mom and pop hamburger stand. You know, you you uh, yeah, you're gonna well definitely said. notice a. A difference there, and one's going to be prepared uh, with a little bit of more uh, yeah. uh, care of what to put that's into true. it, uh, what kind of meat they use, burgers, and uh, I think that's 
most uh, of the beers I've had that are from small regional breweries are, are like that, especially the brew pubs. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I can't wait to try this because other than going to Pittsburgh, I think this is the only way I'm going to ever be yeah, able to that's try true. this beer. Yeah, well, same here. So, <laughs> but you went to Pittsburgh. That's right, I did. I, I don't have to go to Pittsburgh. No, you don't. You just have to be friends with me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, sir. We're going to use our new... Uh, yes. Our, our new uh, Sam Adams glasses, which is kind of funny. It's for the Pennsylvania beer. We're using uh, yeah, the I Boston know. Beer Company. We'll, uh, we'll look the other way on the collaborations. I like the color of it. Um, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, it's, uh, good, uh, yeah, so nice. So far, all these mm -hmm. beers have had like a really uh, great color. Show. And... Uh, right away, I think, at least I can taste uh, some of the hops here, which it's known for. That's one of its uh, uh, sort of uh, staples is that it's got that uh, um, aroma, that hop aroma, that delicate aroma, I guess you would say. Um, but I notice that it's not so, um, it doesn't have that lingering uh, taste that, that some beers, that some pilsners will have. Mm -hmm. uh, like the Noble Pills, which I know we'll talk about another time. But this doesn't seem to linger, which I like. It um, sort so. of fades. Yeah, it's yeah. just sort of uh, got it, uh, Yeah, it's a uh, well balanced mm -hmm. to it. But the um, but you do get you you, you do get a, a kind of a finish to it. But it's just yeah, you're right. It doesn't stay yeah. there. With it's the, a subtle finish. It's not something. That's why they say delicate. Yeah, I think, because it doesn't mm -hmm. overpower. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I like to be able to enjoy the beer and then you know be ready for the next sip as opposed to mm -hmm. it lingering. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. There's there's a lot of uh. Of the West Coast uh, IPAs that are like that, um, mm. so this is I I, I like this because most time this is a lager I believe right mm -hmm. it says it's a lager and we'll explain like the difference between a lager and a because not all pilsners are most pilsners are probably lagers but I don't think all of them are but I think according to the German purity law there I could say I could be wrong it has to go. be a lager but yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so I I think most uh, pilsners. Uh, are are generally, you know, kind of a boring, but uh, lately I've been having a lot more flavorful pilsner, mm -hmm. including this one. This one being one of them. Well, yeah. That's really wonderful. Yeah, and this is why it's pretty popular in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, I'll, I'll go home twice a year if I'm lucky, and uh, certainly around the holidays when it's cold, this really, uh, this really, uh, you know, does the job. Oh, good. Yeah, that's uh, it's also uh, it's it's not that bad of a day here. Yeah, it's also nice. uh, does a pretty uh, good job <laughs> on a hot day too. That's true. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Um, mm -hmm. I was looking for the alcohol per volume. I don't see it here. Uh, I might be able to help you. I might be able to help you very quickly. Four point oh. Okay, so it's 4.0, so that mm -hmm. means you can drink it all day. Yes, and it's available <laughs> year-round, so it sort of goes to what we were saying. Yeah, but yeah, the nice thing about, like, the lower alcohol beers, yeah, you could, uh, you know, you could just uh, be, like, out in, the, out in the yard working or whatever, do whatever, and not really get wasted. Uh, <laughs> so. so, yeah, that's, that's very nice. Uh I think, uh, yeah, it's got to be a very uh, enjoyable uh, to sit out here in the backyard. Absolutely. Just kick back. Yeah. yeah, so if you're on the north side of Pittsburgh, uh, go uh, go see Penn Pilsner and, and maybe get something to eat and you know, enjoy yourself. Yeah, I could see this really going uh, well with uh, food, too. Like, mm -hmm. Because it's especially like the German cuisine. I, yeah. I, I just want some like mustard and pretzels and uh, <laughs> bratwurst. Uh, I got yeah, exactly. some. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think, I think I'm going to put some on right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. But, um, all right. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Did you say it? <laughs> Enjoy your beer. <laughs>